Okay guys, welcome back. First of all, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. Stay safe. Stay at home. Okay, on this video, I'm going to show you how to flash a custom ROM on LG V50. LBM N LBM 50N model. This is a Korean model. The three camera. Maybe for the US version, I'm not sure. Only for the Korean model. The only bad thing about the recovery on this LG V50 you can directly boot into the recovery like the other device for example Xiaomi this one is a MI10 for MI10 to boot into recovery hold while in off position hold the volume plus volume up power the button click the power button still holding the volume plus this is for MI10 Xiaomi MI10 to boot into recovery and for this uh, POCO F3 same thing also hold the volume plus and the power button Still holding volume plus, a bit slow going into the recovery. See, this two already in the recovery. This one faster. Okay, F3. M, M I 10. Now the slot A, slot B. You have to understand the two slot, slot A and the slot B. This is POCO F3 after this uh, LG B50. The MI10 don't have the slot B, only slot A. Okay. okay good. You see, don't have the slot, only A. This one very easy to flash the custom ROM compared to the A and the B. Very good to system. Okay, keep aside this two. Now move on to LG V50. At the moment, I'm using dot OS. Good focus. Dot OS. Android 11 This one a bit different compared to the standard AOSP ROM If you look at the system Dot OS 5.2. This is the latest version. September security patch. Okay, I'm going to show you how to flash the other ROM and then flashback this ROM. There's two different ROM. 
to put into the recovery the TWRP that's very difficult on this ROM on the other ROM because the option on the power, power option there is another option to boot to recovery to boot to boot loader but this ROM .OS don't have it so power off I have to use my PC to boot into the boot loader the boot loader uh, sorry uh, fast boot same as a boot also that come with the recovery the TWRP the link for the TWRP I will give it in the description to boot into the boot loader the fast boot the pawn now are in off position hold the volume minus volume down hold the volume down connect your PC to the pawn still holding the volume down now I am inside the fast boot mode this is a fast boot mode these two volume volume up volume down to choose the option you want to use over here it is recovery power off start you want to boot into the now boot loader recovery okay recovery mode click the power button now we are booting to the recovery remember that just now I have the dot OS inside this phone uh, now I want to flash another ROM different ROM okay, hold on so you can see clear you want to check uh, which uh, slot are active either slot A or slot B now I am on slot A because I am using the slot A the slot B are empty you, if you want to choose the slot B click the slot B check back now color slot B update same ROM if you want to update just flash the ROM on the slot A if you receive an OTA update or whatever update you download same ROM let's say the evolution X on the partition A you flash evolution X you apply update on the slot B evolution X also the same ROM don't apply update using the other ROM whatever ROM not same ROM that uh, will get will get you into a boot loop ok uh, oh sorry uh, now we are on the slot B I want to wipe the slot B format data don't worry about the error this one is a uh, SD card wipe your advanced wipe now big system data this one is a slot B now the slot A because we want to remove the dot OS inside the A we put to A again select A check back we are current slot A ok wipe the slot A format data yes and then wipe at one wipe Talvik system and data ok currently we are on the slot A we, not, we want to install the evolution egg there are many type of uh, custom ROM one come with the GF and another one without GF and three magis 
okay this evolution egg already got the gf so do not you don't have to place the gf for the dot os there's no gf inside the rom so you have to place the gf again link for the gf also i give you in the description you download it okay now we are uh, we are going to install the evolution egg all my file are inside my SD card so select where your file micro SD card that where uh, all my file are kept but you cannot read the SD card you hold on what happened to my SD card let me troubleshoot it Micro SD card. Okay, now it's loading. It's mounted. Okay, hope you can see Evolution X. Have OS not booting on this device. And another one extended. Uh, OSP extended, not booting. So I skip this two. The current booting one, uh, Evolution X. Dot OS, the Havoc OS, not good thing. So we install the Evolution Tech. Click on that one. Flash. Now we are flashing on the slot A. And the recovery uh, in the zip format, not the image format. Uh, link for the recovery also in the description after you flash the ROM if you want to cap the recovery you have to flash it back otherwise the recovery will be override by the boot the boot image it will create another stock recovery the LG stock recovery you can use that one if you know how to but I prefer the TWRP because of the touch touch screen and remember this recovery if you install on the stock LG UI the touch screen are not functioning you have to use the OTG connect your mouse use your mouse to hovering around to click everything that's on the LG UX for custom ROM this uh, TWP are working perfect with the touch screen only on the LG UI because the kernel already locked the touch screen on the custom recovery that's a bummer to LG To unlock the bootloader, that one, there are so many tutorial on YouTube. You can follow the tutorial. To flash the TWRP on the stock LG UI, I will cover it. Maybe on my next video. Sorry for the long video. If you want to learn something, you got to learn slowly. After we flash the evolution egg, after this we flash back the dot OS with the G apps. Just remember which slot active current slot is A active the B I already wiped I don't want anything inside the B so I'm using the A 
there is no OS inside the B slot. Normally, when you flash uh, using the LG app, the flash tool will flash on the slot A. After you boot, that slot A are copied automatically to slot B. So, your active are uh, slot B. That's on the flash tool. Sometimes also with it, this TWRP, if you flash the slot A the firmware, the custom ROM, you want to flash any update on the slot B. Remember that now. You want to keep the TWRP. If you straight away reboot your TWRP will be gone, overwrite by the system TWRP, the one the stock TWRP, the AOSP one. So press home, install the TWRP installer, this one, the 331B50AB zip. The AB means it will flash on the slot A and B. Flash the TWRP. After this, are flash messages. If you want root, if you don't want root, don't have to flash the messages. That's up to you. You need root, flash the messages. You don't need. After you install the TRP, you reboot the system. But for me, I want to flash the messages. So, home, reboot to active slot A recovery now I want to flash magis either magis or gf since this rom already got gf I don't have to flash gf for the rom without gf this is the procedure you flash gf and then you flash magis check I uh, see the slot B active Which one is active? Now it be if if it's uh, reboot to slot A, you flash to slot A. If now active B, you have to press on the slot B. So install the magic. This one a bit tricky A and B. If your active are still slot A, you flash on the A. If after you reboot the recovery after boot back to recovery you see the slot change to B flash on the B if, if it is still on the A flash on the A why because the slot A will flash just now the ROM already copied to the slot B automatically so for the update we have to flash on the B that's it. Pressing the evolution egg. I hope you understand. If you don't, leave a comment below. Update. Let's say you got update for this ROM. Uh, same ROM. You apply update on the slot B. Your slot A still got the older, uh, let's say this one evolution X, older evolution X on the A, your update on the B, latest one. If you reset your pawn to factory reset, you will get the slot A. The slot A are copied to the slot B. That means you got the older evolution X. Because your A are the main partition. Your B are the update. And let's say you got another update. You want to flash on the A? No problem. That means your A are the current latest update. The B are the second uh, latest one. If you reset back the pawn, factory reset, you will still got the latest one on the A. 
still don't understand? Well, what can I say? Now, we are okay. Let's be on the evolution egg. Change my language. Let me do the setting first. English. Where's the English? United States. I'm a U.S. citizen. Log into my Wi-Fi. You hold on. I do my set. Twenty minute already. After this, we flash the dot OS with the GF. That means one stone kill two, but. Login into my Google account. Wow, both received. This is the two step verification for your account. If you don't want your account to be hacked, this is the way two step verification. More safety. This evolution egg, not bad also. The uh, the OS. This is the latest one, I think. Released on twenty third of uh, September. Evolution egg. The the team. Customization are more on this uh, evolution egg from. See the system. And one more thing. Get a habit on the, for this LG V50. Always enable the USB debugging by tapping the build number of your about phone there. Seven times. Until you see the developing uh, developer option, always do that as a habit. For this LG fifty only. For other phone, don't worry. Just be debugging. Always enable it. If it is not enable, since this uh, revolution act, that option already enable by default. Don't worry. Only on the dot OS that one. It's off. Now we are using the Evolution X, the magic I flash just now, version 2.3.0. If you're using the older one, you will see the straight away the app color green. This one, because the app are not properly installed, you have to reinstall the app again, the version 2.3.0. You, if you want to use the older one, version 20.4, that one no problem only the latest one my magic app app that's one another one is a zip app only Just reinstall the app magic app 230 this one for routing this LG P50 no need routing I think only if you want to install uh, other module or the magic module or let's say the Viper whatever you want the magic module we already now it reboot installing some other Report, 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 story, what I call it, for the magic. 
because we are flashing on the slot B just now. If you flash the magic on the slot A with the uh, with the OS the flash, that your magic we got no problem because we are putting on the B. After this, we install the dot OS. Dot OS are a bit different compared to the, the standard 111. This is the standard one, AOSP. Check my battery, how many percent always maintain your battery 80% and above for safety battery indicator 78 ok that's good 78 come on focus I hope you can see my camera a bit ok flash this uh, dot OS. Since uh, this ROM got the uh, extra menu on the power menu. See, power off, emergency. On the at the beginning, I show you the dot OS. It don't have the advanced option for this ROM. You can choose boot loader recovery. Now we want to boot to recovery. I'll show you how to flash dot OS with the GF recovery. That's a good thing about this uh, evolution egg. For other uh, for the dot OS, you don't have it. You have to off the phone, hold the volume minus, plug in your SP cable from the PC to your phone to trigger the fast boot. Now see. We maintain the TWP by flashing it after flashing the software, the custom ROM. Check, yes, active slot B. So we want to wipe the B because we are using different custom ROM. Okay, wipe. We are in a slot B now, format data. Back. Wipe again, advanced wipe, Dalvik system data. Okay, change the slot B. Add B to A. Reboot. Current slot is B. Select the A. Okay, check back. Recheck, always recheck. Now we are active A. Wipe, format data, the slot A. Wipe, add one wipe, topic, system data. We don't want any conflict on the OS uh, slot A and B. Slot A different OS, slot B different OS. That's why the system conflict at the end, you get a boot loop until the end of the life. <laughs> okay, we now we are going to flash dot OS on the slot A. Install. Select the file where you kept the file. For me, inside the SD card. Dot OS. Dot OS 5.2. Unofficial. Oh, very hot the point. I didn't play any game. See, 40 degree already. 42. Where's my fan? My fan! I have to cool it down first. <laughs> Even a pawn need a fan. This is a pawn fan. Not only human need a fan, a pawn also need a fan. Special fan for it. Cool it down. Cool it, brother. 
almost done pressing dot os this custom rom i got no comment on it which one you prefer which one are better for you for your test then get that one as for me i prefer the stock ui as for this phone lg p50 i prefer the lg ux since the lg ux no update on android 11 so that's a bummer okay ready press the custom rom after that always get a habit to install back the twrp otherwise it will be gone headache for you twrp installer ab zip reinstall it back otherwise it will be overwrite by the boot system the system kernel because we are placing on the a and b slot that's mean the two slot got the t the party now don't reboot back to system because we want to place the tf reboot recovery swipe you have to check whether slot a or slot b active if the slot a active place the gf on the slot a if the slot b active place it on the b okay check now we are still on the a that means the b still empty so press the gf on the a install select storage slot a a macro sd that's where my gf are kept copy to the Yes, open G apps uh, arm 64 11 nano last G app after this we flash medis If you get error on installing the GF, that means your system are not mounting. The TWRP cannot mount your system. Restart the recovery. Mount the system uh, manually, then install the GF. After this, we root it with Magis. Slot B uh, are empty. Now we are using the slot A. Always see the, which one are active. But the main uh, OS are uh, always installed on the A. Now I want to install the Magis 23.0. After that, we boot to system. Normally, the OS booting to system take around 5 minutes. If you got more than that, that means you are boot looping reboot to system. Normally, 3 to 5 minutes normal boot after you press a custom ROM. If you are in trouble, boot loop more than 10 minutes dot os now it copy the file from slot a to slot b that's why it stay there on the logo there the lg logo i think now the active slot are b the slot A are copied to the B. 
now the dot os uh, boot animation not more than five minutes it will reboot to the system if you got more than that maybe 10 minutes or more that means boot loop on the boot animation that means something wrong you miss something okay now we are booting the dot os it automatically detect my country region us and for the sim card you have to uh, set the apn manually because uh, some of the apn are not inside the os itself how to set the apn manually refer to your service provider Cool down, cool down. Almost 40 minutes. At least you learn something. I log in into my Gmail account. You want to know my password? Let me show you. Okay, my password is there. You already see my password. Thank you. Wow. This phone already in secret. My pen. Two step verification. Okay, let me do all the setting. Skip, skip, agree, we can test the Google Assistant, whether it's functioning or not. Okay, for your data, the mobile data, in the setting, network and internet mobile network your APN access point name is empty so click the plus button name the name ini untuk orang Malaysia saja yang guna samsat saya ini guna Unify 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 yeah. APN name you need five you need three okay and then this three dot drop down menu save okay we got the apn now your mobile data are active turn up now you see the 4g there ah, this camera how is it it's working fine okay that's it how to install the custom rom on your lg v50 and the korean version if you learn something click a like button if you don't click the dislike button for this magic reinstall the magic app again magic app where are you magic app 23.0 because i'm using the latest magic done you will see the magic active before this a blue color Magic already installed, required patience app, just OK. 
after that it will reboot well finish The boot loader already unlocked. Maybe on my next video, I'll show you how to install the TWRP on the stock UI. As long you got magis, that's why this magis very important on this uh, magis if you got magis on your stock ui you see this four icon at the bottom here click the last one install from storage select the storage where you keep the med uh, twrp select it just click on this twrp click and it will install the TWRP for you in case you forgot to press the TWRP after you press the custom ROM well that's it from me once again thank you for watching stay safe